At a time when state budget cuts mean the demise of fine arts and public education, we have a story which explains how important art in schools can be. It's also a story about a teacher and a student who have overcome adversity and are now beating the odds once against them. There is no problem with student attention in this Tahlequah High School art class. The kids are immersed in what they're creating. Their instructor, Anthony Amison, is at their side, quietly watching and guiding. Just check all those distances. Amison is appreciative of the school board, which is dedicated to art education. At the high school, Amison is one of two full-time art teachers. Students attend classes five days a week. I teach a zero-hour class, so I have, we literally have students who come to school before school starts to take art. Some of his students are so talented, they're already getting commissions for their work. 10th grader Madison Welch will be paid $150 for the drawing she's currently working on. My bus driver, he likes to see all my work. He's just interested. And he told me he would pay me if I would draw his family and give me a picture. The talent of senior Robert Nofire has spread across the nation on Facebook with his portrait of Sioux Indian Chief High Bear. We sold a frame print and then another one. And Two other people today were wanting a print of the chief. At the time of this interview, No Fire was working on a portrait of Beth Harrington, a well-known Tahlequah historian whom he met on a school field trip. Lots of people know her around Tahlequah as like the person that knows everything. <laughs> so I just thought I should draw her because they say she's a legend. He finished the drawing in just days. Out of No Fire's earshot, Emerson says his shy, modest student was like many impoverished young people in Tahlequah. He basically was a high-risk student who was on the verge of just saying, I think I'm done with, with education. He was going to probably get his GED and then go on to a vocational school somewhere and, and, and just kind of go from there. In ninth grade, teachers guided him to Tahlequah Central Academy, an alternative school that turned no fire from an F student into a straight A student. He's not going to tell you all this stuff because he's so, he's a humble student, but uh, you know, he's a phenomenal math student. He tutors people in the math uh, class over there at Central. I mean, he's just a phenomenal student. No Fire takes two classes each day from Amazon, and his art is flourishing. No Fire now has his sights set on college. And I want to do something with either my art or I want to do computers or medicine. There's like three things I wanted to try. Amazon provides inspiration to all of his students by sharing his life story with them. I have three real siblings, but from adopted siblings to step siblings to real siblings of 17 and all, and uh, you know, it was just a rough life. Amazon was placed in foster care at the age of 10. God really blessed me by putting me into a foster home with a caring mother, and and she just she was strict and she was loving though you know and she taught me uh, this is what it looks like to have a stable environment. Emerson was ultimately adopted, went to college, got a master's degree, has been happily married for 10 years, has a toddler and a baby on the way. So that's not the case for a lot of my siblings. Unfortunately most of my siblings uh, lost, their way. lost their way and chose the same lifestyle that we grew up in and so you know that all ties back into why I'm an educator and why it's so important for me to tell my story to these students because you can make it. Absolutely, you cannot give up. Each year, Amazon encourages students to enter the Congressional Art Contest. This year, No Fire Sioux Indian Chief was in the running for an award. And of all the students who entered the second Congressional District Contest, No Fire placed first for his category and first for his overall work. Congressman Mark Wayne Mullins presented No Fire with the award. The chief will be on display in the nation's capital for one year. No Fire also received a $1,000 scholarship to NSU. I'm really proud of him. He is really, he's such a good boy. He's well-mannered and he works really hard and he deserves all this. <laughs> I'm just very, very happy. <laughs> No Fire and his mother will also get to spend a week in Washington, D.C. this summer. Quite an experience for the senior who has never traveled out of Oklahoma before. 
And despite the odds against him just a few years ago, No Fire's art may take him on a spectacular journey for the rest of his life.